Hello guys, it's Fresh Ollie back here again, and it's been a, it's been a while, but we have another full release, and uh, it's something that you probably haven't seen before. I'll show you in a second, but it just allows for more scripts to be run at ease without having to inject them, basically. So uh, this is called Toonbot, and this is the first ever release of this. And it's just a GUI which you can add scripts to it. And when you when you relog onto Toontown, the scripts are already there. And when you when you, this is it downloads the scripts from website, which means that you don't have to constantly update them. If there's like a problem, if if like a script gets patched or something, I can update it through with a um. Yeah, the script gets get, if the script gets patched or if something goes wrong in Toontown, I can just uh, quickly update the code and it will automatically download. You won't have to go, go to my channel to download it, which is good because a lot of you guys sometimes have problems where I'll update it, but then I'll update it badly and someone will download it at the wrong time. But anyway, for this, I recommend that you get Cody's mod loader because it will make it so much easier for you to run this script. Uh, without well this this program without it's not really a program it's runs on top of Toontown but it runs on Toontown so if you get if you get Cody's mod loader for this then it will automatically run on load up Toontown which means you won't have to deal with injecting codes or I'm to find your documents to get the correct codes or whatever whatever you're doing okay so say install Toonbot into Cody's mod loader so first you go to his video you watch his tutorial on here which you can click here for you download it, you install it, whatever. Okay, then you get a folder in your Toontown directory, which will be C, Program Files, and if you're on a 64 bit operating system, it'll be 86. Then Disney, then Toontown Online, no, Disney Online, sorry, then Toontown Online. Then you go into Mods, there's a folder here called Mods. But there's also another way to get to that directory if you don't know how. You just first. Hold on. So this is your Toontown icon that I've just right clicked here. You go to open file location, you probably can't see that. But that's what well, I'll just drag it up here. Open file location just there. It'll open this. Okay, scroll up. Go to mods. Then you take your you take your Toonbot, which I which you downloaded, you copy it, you paste it into here. And now when you run Toontown, it will automatically start with it, so you don't need to faff about with uh, it's copying into the injector every single time. So that's an optional way of doing it, but that's the, probably the best idea. So let's inject it. So it's called Toonbot, and it's only it's called Toonbot because it's based off. It's kind of the same idea as having an autonomous, you know, robot kind of thing, because it, it's designed for autoers. So here it loads up. This is a this is the GUI. So you got about, you've got so it's about this. You got these options here. So the options will load it up when you load a script right now, because it's this is like exactly like if you had a new install of this, it would just say no scripts, options about the script, no script, author none, version none, description none. So we'll inject a few scripts quickly. So first, these are de these are things I'm going to be releasing over the next few days. So you go. We're going to add a script, and we're going to add. Race anyway, so today I'm not going to be demoing this. So you get all these options. You get options about this. You get options about that. You get uh, like a, a th log file, a log thing where you can I'll show you this. And I know that Cody will say that I took this from his idea, but no, these things have been done on the countless programs which are autonomous to do with things like. Um, so I used to play RuneScape, and I used to use programs to bot on RuneScape, which is kind of the same idea as this, and it used to have a log file, a log to kind of show what was going on, and so I don't think you can really take that as your idea, I don't know though, so we've got things here, run times, number of trait races completed, I need to fix that spelling mistake there, races an hour, number of tickets, and race type, and this, you can add scripts to this yourself, you have to use the right syntax, and I might be able to release a video soon on how to add scripts to this yourself and what you have to do to the script to add it because you have to add um, so this is a class auto a GUI this is the class toonbot and you have to make a diction to add a script you have to make a dictionary with all this information in it and this, the buttons and these buttons are 
not coordinates that you would usually pro like for example this will be at zero zero this will be at uh what zero one this will be at this will be at one zero this will be at one one this will be at two one no two zero this will be at two one this will be at three zero this will be at three one this will be at four zero this will be at four one so it's not like you have to type in the coordinates manually and the script the script itself no the tune bot itself actually makes those buttons so it's not having to you're not exactly having to program the button locations in yourself the script will do that for you so I'm not gonna demo this code I'm not gonna demo this script in this because in this video because this is not a demo video but I will demo it in a new video when I release it so this is just kinda like saying I think the video that I'm gonna release in today is the VP maxer along with this so that'll be good for you to hope that'll be good for you to wait for and I hope to see you then, basically. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to install this script into the ToonBot script itself into into Cody's mod loader. So I'll show you where to put it or whatever, because some people might not understand that. And yeah, okay. So I'll show you this. You can actually close it all, so that's kind of useful. And that means that you don't have to like have it in your face the whole time or whatever and then you can reopen it by just opening all of these and you don't need to have that open so I'm going to show you that I also I'll just add another script so here there's another script added and they go in alphabetical order so yeah so C comes before R and when you change between them oh okay there you go that's okay um so you can then, if you want to, um, if you say, I'm right now I've got the erase auto loaded. So say I want to unload it, you just press unload. Okay, it's unloaded it now. And then I want to load the CEO Maxer. You just load script, it's downloaded it. Now it's got everything here, different buttons, different CEOs now, suits, stocks needed. So yeah, there you go. So now I'm also going to show how when you close your Toontown, these scripts are the two that I've got added right now. So when I close my Toontown, I'm just going to close it here. And I'll bear it back, and I will. I'll. Sh I will definitely prove. Look, I'm not injecting. I'm not going to inject anything, and it will automatically reload. So I'll bear it back. And so now I've got all the scripts here, exactly the same scripts. So yeah, releases. Releases for these scripts will come today. At least one of them will be released today. I think it's going to be the VP Maxer, but I'll have to see. So thanks for watching, and see you soon. Okay, so now this is the end of the video. I'm just. This is a black screen, and on the screen there'll be annotations to every single script that's so far been released, and also an annotation to Cody's video because I really, really recommend the install mod loader if you're going to use this, as it'll help you very much um, with the injections because you don't have to bother injecting Toonbot every single time you look every single time you log on to Toontown. So it would really help if you did that. And so I'm going to leave these up for a few minutes, I guess. I don't know. I'll just wait. Because people might click for the end of the video and they might see a load of annotations that show each script that's been released. And they might like that. So thanks for watching and goodbye.